What? Isn't that ox stuff? Show them your birches, yeah. What the hell are you doing? We're going to put your video out. I'll let them know that we're going to do your video tomorrow or the following day. What's up, YouTube? Today here on Shan's video right here in Dad's Kitchen. Happy Sunday, too. Today we're going to be whipping up some oxtails for y'all. So if you're new here, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I need you guys to smash that like button. Stab that like button. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. No, but anyway, if you're new here, hit that post notification bell for you to get our up and coming new videos. Just by hitting the notification bell, they'll automatically pop up on your phone, tablets, computers, laptops, whatever you kind of device you have. But uh, let's get into this. We're going to be whipping these oxtails up. Doses. So I'm going to show y'all what we're working with. Flour, onion, jalapeno, bell pepper. Keep going. Pinto beans in them. Side of stream beans. Gonna put some fresh garlic up in there. I gotta chop that up. And then uh, we're gonna go two packs of oxtails. Man, look at these prices on these oxtails now. See them prices? Y'all see that? Hold on, focus, camera. That's ridiculous for two ox for one big oxtail and the rest small. Seven dollars and forty-one cents. Two big oxtails, seven thirty-five. You see what I'm saying? Lucky I'm the only one eating these and don't my kids and none of nobody else like them. So um yeah, I remember going to the store back in the day. My mom sent me with a ten dollar a seven dollar food stamp book. Oh my goodness. Get a big bag like this full. I ain't playing one. A bag like this was full of oxtails for $7. For a $7 book of food stamps back in the day. Now, you lucky if you get just a little handful of them for $7. So, stay tuned. I'm going to wash my hands up. And we're going to get into this. Because it's going to take a while. I'm going to cook it up in the, uh, in the uh, crock pot. So, we're going to cook it slow. So, we're going to do that for about 8 hours. Before they can come out real tender and fine. So stay tuned, I'm gonna take y'all step by step. Wash my hands and I get back to y'all, deuce. And some beef broth. That's gonna make the gravy, y'all. So check this out, get over here. So now guys, this is what we working with. I'm gonna get y'all eye for flour for the gravy and the broth, right? Beef broth, y'all see that? That's beef broth. Pinto beans, two packs of uh, oxtail. Bell pepper, jalapeno, onion, fresh garlic, and then we're going with some. Y'all already, I'll I show y'all the uh, seasons when I get to the wild lot cabinet. But follow me. Let me set y'all down while we, while we wash this meat off. Wash my hands, wash this meat. So, how y'all been? Happy Sunday again. About to get it cracking up in here. Dad's kitchen. You know what I mean? Start early. What's the, what is it, 9.15? Yeah, we want to cook them about eight hours. I'll be eating about 5, 5.30. You know, they eating something else. Like I said, they don't eat oxtails. So, you know, you know how kids is. Oxtail, what is that? That's nasty. Ugh. Well, you know, I grew up off of, 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 of food like that. So, you know, it's fine to me. You know, and thank God I know how to cook it swell. So, if you want to learn how to cook oxtails the right way, the bond way, Follow me, right here on Dad's Kitchen. You know what I'm saying? We finna get it cracking for y'all up in here on this Sunday. Yeah. Football about to come on, got my coffee brewing. You know what I'm saying? About to watch some Rams get off in the butts. Y'all said Rams, Los Angeles Rams. That's what I said though. Yup. So anyway, we about to wash these oxtails off first thing first. Always wash your meat off. Y'all already know the drill with me. Wash your meat. Wash your meat. I can't stand people don't wash their meat. I won't eat it. If they don't wash their meat and I see that they don't wash their meat, I'm not eating your food. I'm sorry. 
You can say what you want, but I'm not about to eat that. There's too much bacteria and all kinds of germs on me. They be dropping the meat and doing all kinds of stuff in butchers. So, you know, flies and everything be getting on me. Bugs. Come on, man. Wash your meat, please. Everybody don't wash their meat. I know that for a fact. So, we washing this meat. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna throw this away clean as you go. You know, y'all know the drilly. Okay, so. So, yeah, guys, I ain't had my morning joke. You know what I'm saying? So, I gotta get my morning um, coffee. You feel me? Grab my morning coffee, so, you know. I like my coffee black. I don't know about y'all, but I don't know like cream and sugar. See that? Capricorn. See that? That's right. Capricorn. Yeah, for y'all that know what I was, that's what I am. A Capricorn. You feel me? So, grab that coffee for y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Look at that fresh brew. Fresh brew for y'all. Nothing like a good cup of coffee wake you up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. That's that brew bun. But anyway, let's get back to into this guy. We about to season this meat up. Hold on, show y'all what we working with. We're going to the wildlife cabinet. All right. So let's get the lorries out. Let's get the black pepper. Little Creoles, Tony. And we need one more thing. One more thing. Oh. Here we have it, guys. We got the Laris. We got the Tony's Creole. We got the black pepper. We got the lemon pepper. And we got the garlic, right? So. Hold on while I season this up and show you what we're working with. So when you season it guys, you want to do Laurie's first, right? Then you want to come with your garlic. Hold on, I gotta open that guy. Brand newbie. So you want to come with your garlic, right? You can use garlic powder or garlic salt, whichever to your flavor the best. Make sure you hit both sides. So you want to go a little bit of uh, black pepper because you got lemon pepper too, don't forget. So then you want to come with your, I got to open this. Now you want to come with your lemon pepper, right? We'll come with that lemon pepper, right? Now you want to turn these over and do repeat the step. But this time, guys, I'm turning them over, right? And uh, man, these are gonna be so bun. I'm turning them over and I'm gonna start with the Creole's Tony because I use Laurie's on the other side. I want to use Creole Tony's on this side. So you want to make sure you get it all over, right? Just to give it a little more flavor because that, that Tony Creole got a lot of different seasoning in it. So now we want to go with the garlic, right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> that Tony's strong. Black pepper. Or is that the black pepper kicking in? <laughs> Lemon pepper. Right? Now hold on, wash my hands, guys. Now, get my dry off town. Get over here. So now guys, what we gonna do, we wanna brown this meat. So me, myself and I, I sear the meat, you know, I, I get it brown, you know, that way I can make a roux with the, um, with the juice, with the oil and all the juice from the meat and all that. So stay tuned, we're about to whip that up right now. Hold on. Oil, vegetable oil, to go around to um, fry the meat on both sides. You don't want much. 
So let me show you how much I poured in this big pot. Okay? You're not deep frying. So you just want enough just to brown the meat. Okay? So I'm about to get back to y'all. I'm about to start chopping up some uh, the bell pepper onion and, all, and the jalapeno. And I'm gonna get back to y'all and show y'all how this is done in brown right here on Dad's Kitchen. Deuces. So guys, yeah, we back. What we gonna do now, guys, I want y'all to flower up these oxtails. So, stay tuned, watch this, check this out. That's how we gonna do it. We gonna brown these oxtails up. Right, you sear them up like, like you do a steak, you sear it, you see what I'm saying? So, what you wanna do though, you wanna dump some Worcestershire sauce, see that? Dump that Worcestershire sauce up in, uh, up in these uh, oxtails before you, uh, you wanna get them all, get it all around, right? That's flavor, you know? You wanna get it all around, right? Then you wanna massage these in. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. You ain't a cook if you can't get your hands dirty. You ain't a real cook if you can't get them hands dirty. See what I'm saying? That's what they make soap and water for. So now you got the Worcestershire sauce all around, right? Now what you want to do, guys, let me wash my hands. Hold on. Flour. Put yeah, the boy! You Whatever you want to do. I do what I was taught. Y'all do however y'all want to do. Just get, just make sure you get the oxtails all the way around in the flour, like you do chicken and fish, right? You want to shake the excess flour off and drop them like it's high. Drop them like it's high. You know what I'm saying? Drop them like it's hard. Drop them like it's hard. What's this? See that? Y'all hear that grease sizzling? The grease is hot. You don't want to have it on high though. You want to start it off high, get your grease hot, and then turn it down to about medium high. Y'all hear that? So we're just going to dump all these little ones in there, right? And then shake the bag up. Give them a little shake and shake. And then we get everywhere. I don't want to leave none of my oxtails up in the flour. Because y'all know these oxtails are too expensive. Be leaving up in some flour. Not gonna happen. Not here on Dad's kitchen. I want all of mine. Look at that. There was two more up in here. And fill around that thing again. Alright, y'all, all right, y'all, all right. I'm gonna throw this bag away. Wash my hands. So now you wanna flip these oxtails. You wanna brown them on each side, guys. You wanna get them brown on each side. After this, they're going straight up in that crock pot. Mm, mm, mm. Man, them things smell good. I don't know why my kids don't like this. I'm going to make them eat or taste them again. Last time I cooked them, they didn't like them. I'm going to tell them to make something else, guys. So my Sham probably can't eat them because she got braces. Well, she can't eat them. She's got her braces, too. And she's going to be dropping her vlog on that. So stay tuned. She filmed it. If y'all want to see her vlog, um, stay tuned for that vlog she's dropping. Um, probably, she'll probably drop it Monday or Tuesday. So tomorrow or Tuesday, she'll probably drop it for y'all. All right? Let me show y'all her little procedure that she had done on her little pretty face that she got. I'm gonna take me a sip of that cup of Joe, that black coffee though, you feel me? Some bomb right here. So them is browning. So, I'm gonna show y'all something after this. Nice little technique step from Dad. Right here on Dad's kitchen. So y'all see them browning? I'm gonna show y'all so y'all can really see it. Y'all see it? Wow, fat oxtail. So you wanna, like I said, you wanna get each side brown. 
Even if you gotta turn them on the sides, brown them sides too. You know? Then after that, guys, we're gonna take them out and I'm gonna show y'all the next step. Deuces. All right, guys, these is brown enough, so we're taking these out, what? Right, step by step. Y'all keep your eyes on this. Keep this eye, your eyes on this camera step by step. See that? See how they brown all the way around? That's how you want them, right? You want them brown all the way around, guys. See that? So we're taking these out. All going out. These about to go in the crock pot in a minute. I'm gonna show y'all what's going on. Takes a while in that crock pot to cook because it's a slow cooker. But it makes the food real tender. Now what you want to do guys, this the key. You want to pour some flour up in here, right, for your gravy. See what I'm saying? You want to pour some flour, not too much, just enough for some gravy, right? That's going to be about, um, let's say, a quarter of a cup. I don't measure, guys, so I'm sorry, so I told you. So you want to keep that grease from them oxtails in there, right? Same grease y'all had. Same grease y'all use for them oxtails. You want to keep it for this flour. See what I'm saying? Flour gonna turn brown. Y'all with me? See what I'm saying? Flour gonna turn brown. I want that flour to be brown. Some people like white gravy. I don't do white gravy. On um on beef though. I don't do white gravy like this on, on this kind of meat, you know what I mean? So we're going brown. We wanna darken that flour up, right? Hold on, hold on, cup of joe time. <sighs> My morning fix, y'all. Now, check this out. You see the beef broth? Now we wanna pour that beef broth in that flour, right? Hold on, y'all with me? We're gonna go beef broth up in that flour. Ooh, look at that. How much? Just enough to where it can start getting this uh, gravy brown and nice. If it's too thick when you're stirring it, add more beef broth. That's how you do it. See? Let me show y'all. Get over here. You see how thick it is? Let me show you. You see that? That's thick, right? So what you want to do is you want to add some more broth. Loosen him up, you know? And you don't want it lumpy, so you want to keep whisking it. Sorry, y'all ain't got no whisk. Still ain't got no whisk. They only a dollar, probably. I don't know. I ain't even priced them. I'm just so used to cooking the way I cook. Stuck in my ways, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, just follow me if y'all want some bomb food, though. That gravy though. Mm, mm, mm. No lumps, guys, no lumps. You don't want no lumps in your gravy. So you wanna you wanna get that real good and flattened out. See that? No lumps. Now we wanna add more broth. I probably gonna use this whole thing since this is gonna be covering the um, the oxtails up and my beans. I got my beans in there already, guys. I'm sorry I should have showed y'all that. Always start your beans first. You know, the oxtail take longer, but you know, I just go on and put them beans in anyway, so it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So. so what we gonna do guys, we gonna drop the oxtails in the crock pot and throw this gravy on top. But hold on, I'm gonna show y'all another step. We ain't done, we gotta flavor that gravy up. See what I'm saying? So you wanna go onion, right? Bell pepper with the jalapeno with the garlic, fresh garlic cut up in there. Sorry, y'all probably couldn't see it, but it was in there, believe me. See that? That's how you want your gravy to look. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute, hold on. That's how you want your gravy to look, man. Man, 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 this smell bomb. 
Oh my goodness. Get over here. See that gravy? That's how you want your gravy to look, guy. That's how you want your gravy to look. See that? All that's going, all that's going in the uh, crock pot, and it's gonna cover. I'm gonna put a little more chicken broth. All that's going in the crock pot, pot guys. You're gonna cover these oxtails. Y'all see the beans in there? All right, all right, all right. We already got the beans in there. Oxtails going in. Y'all see that? Just dump them in. Just dump them in like that. Make sure they get down. Up in there real good and cook just like that. That's how you want it to sit, right? Now what you gonna do guys, we finna get this gravy. And we about to we about to just pour this gravy right on top of it and let it do its magic. You see what I'm saying? We're gonna let the gravy do its do its thing. Let me put my little Thanksgiving muffins on. Hello YouTube. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So y'all see, y'all with me? Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Tell me that ain't finna be the bond. You know, I'm tired of people taking my ideas, man. Nah, I'm just playing. I do this for y'all, baby. I do this for y'all. I want each one of y'all to learn my way, dad's way. Right here on dad's kitchen. You know what I'm saying? We want all that up in there. Get all up in there. So hold on, I'm gonna set y'all down, guys. Cause I wanna get all mines. I want all mines, guys. I want all mines, mm-hmm. We want all that. All that, right? All that. Right? That ain't nothing but, that ain't nothing but flavor. Yeah. This how you want it to look, guys. This how you want your oxtails to look. They gotta be covered. You see a little juices already? Eight hours if you new here like to subscribe comment down below hit that post notification bell and uh let me know how I did leave a comment let me know how I did right here on Shan's video dad's kitchen but uh this is we're gonna show y'all the finished product when it's done so so now guys what you want to do is you want to put that top on hold on what I'm gonna do it's enough, it's enough in there because it's going to make more juice with the top, but I just want to add a little more chicken broth. You see that? Just a little more. Now, beef broth, I mean, I'm sorry, guys, beef broth. Now, you want to slap that top on, let it do its magic. I'm going to cook it on hot for about eight hours. Eight hours. So, hope y'all liked the video, enjoyed it. Love, peace, and I'll see y'all when the finished results hit. Deuces. All right, guys, check that out. That's six hours. If you cook it on low, you want it eight hours. But it's still on. And look at all that. Look how thick this. I'll show y'all how thick this gravy is. Mom, look at that roux. Look. Mm, mm, mm. But here's my finished results, guys. You see that? Y'all see that though? Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me get it. Oh my goodness, man. I'm about to tear that. Oh, uh, look at that rice and gravy and the gravy all on the oxtail. That blueberry cornbread and them string beans. I'm about to put a dent in this guy. Oh my goodness. Look. This is like a, this is a good $17, $18 plate at a restaurant. So if you want to do it live and you want to learn how to cook, come to Dad's Kitchen and I'll show y'all what's up. Until next time, like and subscribe, comment down below. And let me think, let me know what y'all think about this dish right here. All right, this Soul Food Sunday dish right here come on let me zoom in i'm gonna zoom out 
Then I'm going to zoom in and give y'all a better glance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Let's see how tender they are. We ain't even checked them. But I don't even got to check them. But I'm going to do it for y'all, though, because I know I could cut. Look at that. Oh, my good. Bro, did that just fall off that bone? Look. I'm going to pull it with my finger just to show y'all. We ain't playing. Look. Look at that. Oh, my God. Only in dad's kitchen. Until next time, peace and love. I'm out of here.